So as I say that, I can also see in the corner of my eye, just uh, diagonally in front of me, uh, Glutony sitting in his chair, like decidedly, you know, like, oh, okay, a warrior, let's, let's watch that, Let, let's see what you have. Okay. Already, blue team with the stage control. Dr. Crow trying to cover the recovery from blue team, but not managing it. Oh, very nice combo. And you could see OG was ready to follow up until the up smash, but just missed space himself a little. That's, a, that's sadly a trend when you pick chic and doubles. And that just, you know, when your chic is a bit shaky, you end up being the one with the most percent and then you die, and then you, you play neither role. Like, if you get in and you get hit, obviously you're not you're not winning neutral, so you're basically wasting your slot, and you're wasting st uh, stocks because you're dying so early, because Sheik is made of paper. So it's basically a lose-lose situation if you can't make it work. But the code needs to collect himself. Ooh, nice up smash up the shield, like, <laughs> he saw OG going after him after the bouncing fish. He was like, okay, that's your call, but you know, you can't actually punish me unless I mess up, so. With a B. Strong lead for blue team, though. The whole stock. And Magic is very, very aware of his follow ups. Like, uh, he's got some up smashes, orders. Like, he's precise, and uh, the follow-ups themselves are rather well chosen. Even though the up smash was uh, super laggy and couldn't follow up, uh, couldn't follow up after it, it was a lot of percent. And then he gets forward airs. Ah. Was that what I was saying? To finish stocks with Sheik, you need to get this, uh, this super deep bouncing fish. It can be hard to set them up if you're not used to them. Yogi has a full fart on deck. This could change the, the pace of the match. You know? If, uh, just like that, if they get rid of uh, Mewtwo's stock and then get rid of uh, OG's, they only need to land one fart and uh, it's in the, in the game is in their favor. This is Gap Oh, unable to. Actually gets hit to himself. Uh, there's some spaghetti going on right now. Like stocks being thrown left and right for no reason. No one kill, obviously. Got a control. Ooh, this might be bad! Going super deep with the forward air, but sadly hits right into the air dodges both times. So no conversion. Definitely could have been huge for Red Team. Lots of percent on Yogi. But if he somehow manages to play campy enough or safe enough to get at least a mid level fast back, the good actually makes this work. He needs to not even get touched at this point. He can't get grabbed by Mewtwo. Ooh, this is bad for Blue Team actually. This match could go either way. Fart is probably on deck right about like. It will kill uh, OG at this point for sure. And the up air, yep, anti, anti air, just going for it. Yep, you don't get to land on me after all this time. I've seen your patterns. It's getting a bit tiring now. And Dr. Crow in a bit of a spot. With uh, too much percent to be super comfortable with Sheik. Actually, if he gets grabbed even once, it might be the end of the game. It's the if he gets hit by a charge smash after the grab. On the other hand, he could be able to take OG stock oh, and just runs into the Shadow Ball. And obviously, you're not gonna leave that to Sheik ever. Too bad. Uh, Dr. Ko and Yogi did have the opportunity to make something happen. Uh, they, they did get a, a couple of uh, <coughs> sorry, lucky shots with uh, OG suiciding. But on the other hand, uh, Crow himself did not play uh, as optimal as you could hope. He did get gimped because he grabbed the edge twice, and uh, he did suicide at one point. So 
definitely looking doable if uh, red team sharpens the game a little. Comment ça, Spaghetti Ah, parce qu'il y a eu des baissides qui étaient un peu piffés. En tout cas, si tu lances un baissade, tu veux te toucher ton mate. Tu touches ton mate alors que tu as 100 grammes de rage et qu'il a 60, tu le butes, hein, donc c'est rarement worse. Et offstage, je t'en parle pas avec le logique qui s'est Anyway, we're going back with the, uh, the same team actually. The color switch from Yogi. Going uh, Eggplant Warrior. What's going on? So, so much percentage on the uh, blue team. Like they got two of their most damaging hits in a row. Yep, we're going super high. Uh, and Crow tried to make something happen. He came with a double jump up B to, to try and trap uh, OG. At least for an edge out or perhaps catch him with the up B, but uh, in the end, he was the one to lose his start. Still very doable. Crow hasn't been touched too much. Deficit is still relatively small. The Death of Smash will do it. Not sure the OTI or not, you know, that, to be honest. 115, 114 seems a little low for a uh, warrior to die. And the forward smash, and with all the rage that Falcon had, this shit is gone. And in like 15 seconds, the game has gone from okay, you have a very small deficit, so it basically means nothing, to yeah, this is, this is looking like curtains. Falcon isn't dying. Okay, finally, gets it with the uh, bouncing fish. The platform is just sliding under him, <laughs> preventing him from uh, going for the air dodge because he would have dodged onto the platform. Nice one. We're back here, no crow. Uh, I'm not sure about this decision. Crow decided not to edge guard Falcon, which uh, usually means no. Oh, too bad. Gets a cross up on, on the upper on his mate, but not as you know on his uh, opponent. So basically, kills his mate and saves his opponent. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, Crow did not go for an edge guard on Falcon in doubles, which usually is the thing to not go for. Don't edge guard in doubles. It takes too much time. It's not a, a guaranteed thing. It's not a guaranteed percent. But against Falcon with that double jump, and when you're at a deficit, it might be actually the right option. I'm not sure. But for now, it's still looking really doable for Red Team. As they got two kills in a row, got them a little breezy time in space. Trap was nice on that crow, and he could have gone on a little more, uh, but he wasn't paying attention to uh, magic who came in his back. And, uh, who oh, the back throw that will be it, yeah, she is gone. And so we have a solo Wario, and this could be actually super hard because OG, as I was saying, is from Paris, and he has beaten Brittany once or twice. He has in the same region, he knows very well how the, player, so the character plays and how to exploit it. Tries to punish the landing with heaven grabs. A bit cheeky, if you ask me, because he just <laughs> tried it four four times in a row and it didn't work. Again, the follow-up. Uh, uh, th they were pretty good with their follow-ups during the game, and uh, as uh, as they were closing in to the, the end of the set, especially in this 2v1 situation, it got worse and worse. But finally, uh, Blue Team takes it. Magic and OG taking it over Dr. Crow and Yogi.